What's up everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood Dooley Ray, and this is the ninth war of Alliance War Season 4. My alliance, the Scroll Empire, we're down to the wire. We have to win, or we are out of the master bracket, pretty much. Um, we're playing against New Nation, Noon, whatever they want to be called. This time around, we're going to defeat them, right? Because that is what we do. So let's not spend time rambling on. Let's just go ahead and get into the war here. I will be taking path six, as per usual, with uh, my new fancy schmancy pants team of Hyperion, along with my Sparky and my Void. First things first here, I have a awakened five-star mutant champion on this Aggression Fury node. I know for a fact that it's, well, I don't know for a fact, but we've already seen a Nightcrawler and an Iceman in other parts of my battle group, so I'm I'm really assuming I'm not going to be fighting either of those two on this node. I think I have Domino later on in my path on uh, node 24, so I'm assuming it's not her either. I suppose I could see a Cable here, because it is an unblockable special one. Uh, but going into this fight, I'm not entirely sure who to expect. I take in Sparky, though, because with class advantage, it shouldn't be too difficult. And it's Omega Red. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. My first time fighting this guy in Alliance War, and it could be tricky, potentially. I mean, not too tricky. I've I, I've placed it, <laughs> played against him a lot in the event quest, the monthly event quest, so not too worried about it. I am taking some block damage, though. I did let him build the Furies a bit too much. I'm going to try and bait a special one out of him, and I do know what those animations look like, so I can take him down right there. I'm going to try and get another special one out of him if I can. Oh, I let him hit into my block. I'm at 80% health. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to keep myself from having to spend on potions. I don't have any units for potions, or I do have a few units, but I would prefer not to spend my units on potions. So I'm trying to save up my potions, trying to not use too many. I end the fight with 80% health left on my Spider-Man. Moving on to this Science Awakened Champion. Uh, it's taking its sweet time coming up to it. I'm going to be taking in Void, because there is Bane on this node. And I gotta say, that Omega Red fight was actually pretty fun! It's fun to fight different champions in Alliance War, so... Yeah, place, uh, place fun and interesting champions in Alliance War, if you play against my alliance. Just for me personally, you know, so I can enjoy it. Uh-oh, losing signal right as I'm starting the fight. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come back. There we go. We're back. It is a wasp on this note, a rank 4 wasp. Interesting. Okay, all I have to do here is bait out her heavy attack, and she's just, she's not having it. She's not throwing it. There we go. She finally did, and I gotta try and be careful of her evade. Oh, she evades right the second she recharges. That's great. I am taking some shock damage now. I do know how to dodge his, or dodge her heavy attacks. Uh, I got her as a 5 star, if you guys haven't seen that. I do have a bit more information on her, or not information, but I am a bit more comfortable with her animations now. And I managed to get an intercept on her heavy there. Took a bit of a risk. She could have evaded, but I, uh, or wait, could she have? She was using a heavy attack. Never mind, she couldn't evade. Anyways, I've got Void at 80% life again, or not again, but same as Spidey, he's at 80% life, and I believe I have a Domino up on this node here. So I'm trying to decide who I should use between Sparky and Void. They both have their benefits and or pros and cons, I should say. And I, I decide on Void. I decide I'm going to be taking in Void for this fight. So I'm going to heal him up with one potion. I am starting to stack him up again. I got some glory out of Alliance Quest, thankfully. So I will, I will have a few more potions in the future, hopefully. That doesn't mean I'm going to slow down and uh, not take these fights seriously. Anyways, going into this domino fight here, I will be using Void. And it should be a piece of cake. Because I can intercept her like a boss. There we go. Let's get this fight started. So we're going there. Going to get another intercept. Going to build myself up to a special one. Oh, she throws her special one. I'm not going to try and dex out of it because I do have unlucky up and she could potentially just shut down my dexterity and let me get full on hit in the face by her special one. Going to throw my special one and no debuff applies. Whoops. Okay. Um, have it your way, Domino. Okay. <laughs> She's at 100% health. There's been 30 seconds gone by in this fight. I only have one debuff up. Yikes. I need to get, uh, need to get things moving here. So I do intercept there, get her to her special one, and she starts evading me again and again. Thanks to her lucky. Gosh, I hate Domino. I hate Domino so much. If I had Domino, I would love to play with her. But playing against Domino is just not a good time. Not a good time at all. I'm going to try and push her to a special 2, just because I prefer to dodge that over her special 1. I do have her pushed up against the wall, so I've got some space uh, for, for baiting out that special. Because sometimes she gets a little finicky about actually throwing the special. So I do throw an attack in there, and she manages to throw her special 2, finally. 
Thank you, Domino. And I gotta try and play around her lucky unlucky. I do get another debuff up. I get an intercept there. Okay, I'm just trying to get things moving faster here. That's all. So I'm gonna throw a special a special one, excuse me, to uh, get another another debuff up. Oh, it's the Petrify debuff that shows up last. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> if I could have gotten the uh, Petrify debuffs up first, that really would have shut down a regen and allowed me to do a lot more degen. And oh crap, my Fear of the Void fell off. It didn't apply. Minute and a half of the fight is gone, and it didn't apply. Okay. Well, that throws me into a bit of a panic. <laughs> I've really got to work fast and get these debuffs up. I don't get any Petrify debuffs. So I'm like, okay, I've, I've really got to try and avoid using Dexterity because she will heal off of any Dexterity that I uh, that I get, and she will heal a lot. So I've got a minute in the fight left, and she's still got half her health. Oh, things are not looking good. Things are not looking good for me. Um, I throw a special one. Gonna try and get another debuff up. Still no Petrify. Come on, RNG, come on. Okay, Domino, please don't. I'm, I'm really panicking here. I get an intercept, push her to her special two. Come on, just throw it. Please, just throw it. Please, just... There we go. I still don't have a Petrify. I get every debuff, once again, except for the Petrify. This fight, as far as numbers go, as far as getting luck at all goes, is just horrifying. It's not going my way. 30 seconds. The clock is ticking away. She's still at exactly 60% health, and she's starting to tick away, slowly but surely. She, uh, am I going to be able to do this? I don't know. There's 20 seconds left in the fight. Come on. Come on. I'm really panicking here. My hands just start sweating. I can't slip up, though. I can't take a death here. Uh, the first debuff I get up is a Petrify. Very lucky on my part, so I'm going to try and get a Dexterity. Unfortunately, I can't pull it off. She throws her special... <laughs> her health is going down. One second left. 10% health. <gasps> Dex to crit. Come on. 6% health left in die timeout. Oh, no. Oh, no. Domino, I hate you. I hate you so much. <sighs> Domino. Okay, so Domino does have 6% life health. Life health left. And I'm going to go back in there. I'm not going to give her a chance to laugh at me. She's already laughing. Everybody's laughing. Freaking Domino, I hate you so much. <sighs> Can you tell how much I hate her? I don't even heal up Void. Um, I go in with 37% or health, because I'm not going to die to this Domino. One five-hit combo, and she's dead. That's all I needed. That's literally all I needed. Gosh, I hate Domino. So for future fights, if I see Domino on this node... I, I still think Void is a really good option. I've just got to play it really, really, really carefully with Fear of the Void. Or, or something. I don't know, because she wasn't in her lucky or unlucky phase. I wasn't in unlucky phase, I believe, when Fear of the Void didn't apply. It just, it was an ability that didn't apply. <laughs> and that's part of Domino's abilities. It's unavoidable. Void. <laughs> um, anyways, still sucks. And maybe Sparky would have been the safer option. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to put a potion onto Sparky here. This is my second potion of this war, I believe. I used one on Void, one on Sparky here, and I'm taking on a MODOK mini, mini boss, rank 5, on the All or Nothing node. Sorry, my voice keeps on cracking here. I'm trying to keep it calm, but I get, I get all fired up about Domino. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy losing, guys. I do not enjoy it. Anyways, I'm building up poise charges here against MODOK, and thanks to my superior intellect, I know exactly how to fight this guy. Take his auto block there. He throws a heavy attack, so I'm going to throw a combo into him. There we go. I know the timing pretty well on his auto block shield as well, so I know I know when it's usually safe to throw in a combo and when you should probably back off. I get him to throw a special one, thankfully, with my taunt debuff up. And I, I start pushing him up some more. He's going to get his, his uh, auto block there. He's going to throw a special one. I can get a few hits on. And there we go. I time it perfectly with his, with his shield coming on. Boom. Let's get that, head into a shield, parry him. I've got unlimited parries, so this fight is just, it's supposed to go my way. It should. All right, so I dodge another special one, go at him. Oh, there we go, see? You shouldn't even be worried. I'm gonna throw my own special one and, oh, he's not dead yet. There we go, he's dead. Phew. I'm proud of that fight. After that stupid domino fight, <laughs> it feels so good to be able to take down Modok like that. So, Modok goes down, and the following day, I have an awakened 5-star skill champion, and my immediate worry is Void. I mean, <laughs> Cork. <laughs> void, what? <laughs> it's gonna be Void, guys, that's why he's a skill champion. No, I'm afraid it's gonna be Korg. 
Fortunately, I do have Scouter Lens, so I can see that the base attack is really high, and the health is, while still being high, not as high as a Korg would be, so I can pretty well assume that this fight is not going to be a Korg. If it was going to be a Korg, I had thought about using Hyperion, and that may have been my answer to him there, but uh, I'm going to give it a go with my Sparky here. Not entirely sure who to expect, but I've boosted myself up once again. And we're going at it. I think I put big boy boosts on because we don't want to lose this war. This is it for us. This is the make it or break it. The win or the lose. Going in. It's a Gwenpool. Did I mention it's a Gwenpool? Which is actually very interesting placement on this node. I don't know that I've ever fought her before on this node. And thankfully I brought in Stark Spidey who does have a special attack that does some damage over time. Because <laughs> using... using oh. What champions wouldn't be good against Gwenpool on this note? I'm trying to think, because she's got that special ability where she can't die to special attacks. So if you bring in the wrong champion for fighting Gwenpool on this node, you could be screwed, because she can't die. And you can't do any attacks on your basic hits. So I do power drain her there, and I'm backed up against the wall. She's being really, really stingy on those special attacks, but I do get a special one out of her there. Gonna throw a special two. Oh, wait, nope, special one. I thought I had a special two. Didn't get as much power as I thought I was gonna get, so unfortunately I do throw a special one. I gotta build myself back up, because if I don't throw the special two, I'm not gonna kill her. So I'm really not worried about it though. I've still got two minutes left in the fight. All I have to do is get to this special two. She throws a special one. Gonna push her up to another special one, bait it out, and throw a special two of my own. Bah, there we go. And with one special two, I only get one crit, but it still takes her down with the shock damage. So uh, that fight went pretty well. Not so bad. Next up, I have an awakened science champion. On, uh, on this node here, and it is a Sabertooth. It's a rank 5, persistent charges right there. Let's take a look at this guy's profile if I can. Come on, let's see what he's got. Oh, look at that big boy. Sabertooth. Yikes. Sig 200. Oh, even better. Oh, great. Recover 69% of his health. Okay, you know this is going to be a fun fight. I'm not scared. It's just a little bit. I'm not letting any pee come out, though. I didn't need to say that, but I'm taking an Hyperion in this fight, and hopefully it's going to go my way. My plan, of course, is to, well, throw L1s to get Incinerate debuffs up so that I can kind of reverse his regen. It's not going to necessarily reverse his regen, but it will it will counteract it so I can do a bit more damage. Um, I am going to build myself up to a special 3 first, though, so I can get some Cosmic Charges on myself and hopefully do some damage in that way. So already he's at 85% health, so I'm feeling pretty good about that, but he doesn't have his fury or his, his regens fully built up yet. So I am, you know, I can't let myself get too excited yet. He is regening for 813 per tick. That's quite a bit of regen. Um, all I have to do is, is out damage it though. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Gosh, got eight furies. Hyperion is so fun. I love Hyperion. Have I said that before? I'll say it again. Gosh, do you hear my voice cracking? I'm not trying to do this, I swear. Don't make fun of me. I can't help it. <laughs> I went through puberty once. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me. Okay, gonna try and build up some Fury so I can throw a special three. Here we go. Wait, I gotta bait out a special one from him. If I can, I don't want to push him to a special two because it would be unblockable, and his special one is much easier to dodge. So I do, do manage to get that out of him. Gonna throw my special three, get lots of damage. He's only at 70% health, and almost half the fight is over. So I do need to, to kick up my damage a notch, if I can help it. He's at 57% health now. He's regening for 1,000. Let's see, 1.1k per tick. Jeez Louise. That's a lot of regen. And it just keeps on coming. Well, now I'm going to move on to using my special ones. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> just watch just watch his health here. Going to throw another heavy attack. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Throw another special one. Just like that. Look at those incinerates. Doing some work on him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. His life is slowly slipping away. He's got 20% left, 18% left, 15% left, 10% left. It's just melting. He's melting like the Wicked Witch of the West. Boom. 113 hits. Whew, it's a lot of hits. But the fight is over. I still had a minute or so left. I, I didn't actually look at the clock there, but I had quite a bit of time left once I started using those special ones, so I, it probably wasn't necessary for me to use the special three. I just thought... It would be nice to get a little bit of extra damage off of those cosmic charges. Anyways, I will be taking this mini boss up here. It is a 5 star Awakened Punisher 2099. 
And we had some trouble on the node before this, so I don't get cleared for a while, and by the time I am cleared, I'm actually at school. <laughs> so I'm trying to play this under my desk while looking my teacher in the eyes. Okay, I wasn't looking at him in the eyes. I was, I was staring at my crotch, according to his perspective, probably. Um, but I was very focused. <laughs> So it is later on in the war, my boosts have fallen off, and I am in charge of taking down this Punisher 2099 mini boss. Whew. Okay. So I'm told that I don't need to use big boosts on this since it is just a Punisher, and I decide, hmm, I'm a genius. Here's what I'll do. I will not use any ba or any boosts at all. Yay me. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm not gonna die to this guy on this note. I can't let myself do it though. Um, and honestly, here's the thing about Alliance 4 is I wish I didn't have to boost for everything. It's just, I don't have to boost for everything. I have the skills and I have the champions to not need to boost. The only issue is that the boosts are available. And since they are available, if I do happen to die, if I happen to make a mistake and I die, then it's on me for not putting a boost on. Because I could have had more attack or I could have had more health. And yeah, I, while I would prefer to just not use boosts in Alliance 4, there's just, there's no excuse to not to. So this is a kinetic reactor node, and I don't dodge any of those special two blasts. There is limber on this node as well, so I have to be careful of that. I don't dodge any of those blasts either, so he's just, he's right back at a special one. Throw a special one of my own, there we go. I don't try and attack into him, just in case I could get parried there. And, okay, I'm about, I'm about out of parries. He's at 26% health left. And I still don't evade any of his special two. Is there true strike on this node? I don't believe there is, but... Spidey was just not evading any of that. Oh, I get caught by a special one there. He doesn't evade any of it. Thanks, Spidey. You're a real pal. I get a nice intercept there. My health is at 29%. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Uh, I'm going to play it really safe. Bait out those heavy attacks there. And bait out another heavy attack if I can help it. There we go. And there we go. One more hit does the trick. That was stupid. But it worked out, you know? I didn't have to boost. So I saved myself some boosts there. I, f I figured I would have, you know, I'd be fine. It was still very dangerous of me to do and probably a risk that I didn't need to take, but it worked, it panned out for us. And my alliance actually ended up taking the loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost guys, dang it. It was, it, it was close war for a bit and we just had a few mistakes too many. Uh, my death to Domino or my timeout to Domino. I didn't die to Domino, I timed out. Still was a uh, pain in the butt. We lost, and I think that boots us out of tier one, and that is our, well, that's the end of the road to masters for us. So now we are going to be pushing for that plat one, or maybe masters, maybe we can, uh, who knows what's going to happen with how the bands have happened and shaked everything up, shaken everything up. Uh, it may still be possible for us to hit masters, but if not, we're still going to make plat one. So, and I'm still going to be doing Alliance War videos and fights. So stay tuned. Till I see you next, guys, hang in there. May the RNG be with you, and peace out.